All right, so we're gonna be headed out to Desert Shores, um, kind of near Salton Sea for the week. It's Christmas Day, gonna be out there probably till like New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. But I'm gonna be taking the um, RV that I got. It's a Chateau 24F 2018. Um, I got this back in like, March or April. I don't exactly remember, but um, taking this out here, I'll stay out there. We have a little house that we'll go hang out at, but um, and a nice to have your own little space when you're over there. So kind of do a little walk through a walk around of it, but um, take a look at the inside. So on the inside coming in, it's um, pretty small when when it's not when it doesn't have the slide out. Um, but you got a bunk up top with two people up there, obviously in driving area, passenger seat, a little table. This folds into a bed, um, so you get two more people sleeping there. And then a little kitchen, uh, microwave, stove, some storage areas like a closet, and then fridge um, that you could use. And then this is the back sleeping area. And then this is like the bathroom shower area. Yeah, so when the slide isn't out, it's pretty small in here, um, as you can see. But when I get set up at camp, I'll do another little video with the slide out and see how big it gets in here. Um, but yeah, I've had this thing since for March or April, I think it was April, and I mean, it's been great. It's been fun. Take it to the river, to the beach, out to the desert, a bunch of camping trips. So probably more to come on this um, particular um, RV. So we're going to get ready to hit the road here. Got my road dog, Blue, in the passenger seat, ready to roll. So um, we're at Riverside. It's about an hour, hour and a half drive. I need to stop, get some fuel, fill up some propane. Uh, but should be there um, probably about an hour two hours kind of give you a quick little rundown of the setup we got when we get there so it's a great little spot it's uh, in desert shores but it's a short ride in like Akatia wells um, so normally we'll we'll post up at the house and then do little day runs in Akatia and there's just tons of cool little runs to hit that are kind of local to the area so um, all right, just made a quick pit stop at the Morongo Travel Center. Needed to fill up on some gas and propane. Um, so just stopped in to do that. Put about, I had about half a tank and put in, shit, I forgot what I put in. Decent amount of fuel though, like 20 gallons or something, 28 gallons. And uh, propane was running a little low, so put like six gallons of propane in the tank. So that should last me a while. Actually, that's the first time I put propane in this thing. I got it in, I keep saying when I got it. Um, but yes, yeah, the first time I put it in, um, so new experience for me, pretty easy. Propane's cheap to it, like six, uh, six gallons was like 17 bucks. Um, but back on the road, um, and should be there probably about an hour. All right, so if you're coming from the west, you're basically gonna hop on 10 heading east and get to the 86, um, take the 86 south, like you're headed towards Akintia Wells. And then our place is a place called Desert Shores. It's probably 10 to 20 minutes um, before you would hit Akintia Wells, or what's known as Akintia Wells. So um, right now I just hopped on the 86, another couple, uh, probably another 20, 30 minutes to go. So I've arrived at the house and I'm uh, gonna get set up. There's the RV there. Got my brother's RV over here. And then his, here's the house that we have, his patio. So doing a lot of work to it. Um, 
we do some painting up there and some other things, but we have the outside painted, put some new windows on there. Um, I don't have a key with me right now, but um, I'll show you guys the inside here in a minute. But um, yeah, this is the sea. So and there's my dad's RV there. And um, I'm going to show you guys the front. Here's the front of the house. We're still working on some touch-up paint, um, but we got like the main body of the house, the windows, the frames. I just still need to you know, do some cleanup here on the, on the windows there, but... Yeah, that's just the house. We'll get the inside in a minute. But I think I have my dad's RV. That's where he stays at um, when we're out here visiting. And then we have all this big old lot here. So usually like Abe and Kennedy will like we'll ride their dirt bikes or quads over here. This big lot here. And um, there's a door. I'll get that opened up for you guys later. There's the patio hanging out here most of the time. A little messy right now and get everything cleaned up but you know, there's a fire pit hanging out and that's where i am so i'm gonna work on um getting this thing set up have to get my leveling blocks out to get this set up or to get this level and then i actually have the automatic jacks on there so i'll show you guys how those work put the slide out give you another little tour um, of how it looks when the slides popped out how much bigger it looks in there all right, so we have our leveling blocks. We we'll grab a couple of these. So this one's gonna go. Now doing this live is probably not gonna make for a great video, so I'll just kind of show you what I'm doing. These blocks. There's a leveling jack. I'm gonna put a couple of these under there. Head over here. Grab a couple more of those. There's your, there's your jack right there. Put a couple blocks under there. You guys get the picture. On this side, same thing. Put your blocks under there. And then in the front, same as the other front. You might get to put your blocks under there. And um, all right, now that you have your blocks all set up. I have the automatic leveler system, the equalizer. So you just hit the power button, get that thing turned on. Hit the auto level button. And I start coming down. Show this. Just basically start coming down. Too late to grab that block. Let's see, let's see where we're at. Make a little adjustment here. Check out this side. Oh, definitely miss this one. Make a little adjustment there. Check out this last one. Yeah, shit. Usually I want that to be on there a little more, but whatever. And then um, the system will basically automatically get this thing straightened out and leveled for me so let's see it's gonna get that pretty extended there to get me leveled and that'll make the inside of the rv here completely flat and level so you're not leaning in one direction when you're sleeping or um, doing whatever all right next operation we have here is to get the slide retracted out so just on your I hate to have to do this, it's uh, gonna be backwards for you guys, but on your control panel up top, slide extend, slide extra, uh, retract. So we're gonna hit the extend button. That's going to start popping this whole slide out here. Takes a minute, um, not a minute, takes 15, 20 seconds to get it popped out. You can already see kind of how it's getting bigger in here. All right, so now that we're fully extended with the, the pop-out, I'm going to give you another little tour. So if you remember, the beginning video is pretty crammed in here, but I um, just have that top area. This is all opened up now, so you get a pretty decent area to kind of walk around into here, do what you need to do. Table's out there now. This bed obviously doesn't stay like this. So, yeah, I'll do that later, but... And that flips down so you get a nice sleeping surface there. 
and you get all this space in here. So it gets pretty big. I already saw the bathroom shower. But yeah, it gets pretty big once it's um, extended out. So got a master area, um, kitchen or dining table, little kitchen area, fridge area. And up top, I normally use for storage. Um, that's what you got. All right, so I'm already tracking a bunch of dirt and shit into the RV. Um, obviously, I have like a concrete thing from the patio here. You got to walk across this dirt to get inside. So, of course, you're going to track some, some nastiness in. So, I'm going to make a little, um, I have some spare, like, little paver bricks. So, I'm basically going to take those and move them over here. Make myself a little walkway so I'm not tracking in all that nasty dirt. All right, I got my little walkway built. Take a look at it. Pretty uneven right now. Um, I just got here. We're going to be here till like January 2nd. Basically, be here for all week. So I got some other stuff I want to do. But tomorrow, I'll come in. I'll probably get this all level. Rake it out, get the dirt level so that these bricks don't look like all uneven like that but for now to get me by stop me from getting a bunch of dirt inside i'll show you what that guy i'll show you what that looks like when i redo it probably tomorrow yeah but i'm basically done for the day i'm gonna do a little more or a couple more setup items um and then just chill drew my brother and lance my dad they're coming they'll probably be in a couple hours and um so I'll probably just kind of get some of my stuff situated inside, wait for them to get here, just chill. Probably put the camera away for the rest of the day, um, unless something pops up interesting that we're doing when those guys get there, so or when they get here. So most likely signing off for the day, but we'll see what happens. You never know how to see. Interesting shit can always pop up at any time.